pastors care for the soul's destination. Our prayers are purposeless. Our victory work church family, Pastor D.L., <clears throat> speaking in First Lady Harville, and the New Life Ministries Worldwide family, the Spiritual the Church of the Army family, Pastor Marco and First Lady Pittman and the New Prosperity Baptist Church, Bishop Women Gardner family, Pastor Gregory and Lady Smith and the Zion Hill Baptist Church. Pastor James and First Lady Reigns and the Ecclesia Christian Ministries. <clears throat> Pastor James and First Lady Minnick and the Mount Pleasant Minnick Missionary Baptist Church. Brother MJ, Brother Mark J. Van Oliver, Sister Kayla Marshall, Sister Marcina Golden, and Sister Leslie Mills Golden. The family of the late Pastor Ora, 
Marie Claire, and especially Minister Marie Claire. Sister Marsha White, Sister Bonnie Brown, Pastor Jamie Lincoln, Maria White, Ruth McKenzie, the family of the late Georgia James, especially our sis, Nikki Swan, Pastor James Marks and family in our Richard Virtures located in the country of India. James Marks and family in our Richard York Church. I'm sorry. Pastor James Marks and family in our Richard York Church located in the country of India. Pastor Jose Daniel and family in our Richard York Church located in the country of Kenya. All of the school systems that have been affected by this violence, especially the graduation class of 2020. Our first responders, A.B. Mark Oliver, Angie Cheatham, Vivian Lott, Daniel Page, Ashley Covington, Sharon Mack, Melissa Donaldson, and all those who are out into the workforce that has to deal with the effects of the virus or the possibility of being around the virus. So we, we just continue to pray for our families that's going on to the workforce doesn't have the option to work from home. Amen. We thank each and every one of you. May God bless and keep each and every one of you. And we a special prayer for the sick and the shut-in and the bereaved. If you have anyone to add to our prayers and our purpose list, please call the church office at 313-243-4512. Listen, every Monday there's an anointed word for you. Every Monday. So, you go to our Facebook page every Monday to get that anointed word that is for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember, we are living our future now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's put those of us hands I just want to 
say, Father, I love you. Father, I need you. Father, we say thank you. Here is the victory word, church. We believe that we are living our future now because there is victory in the word. I wish I had to be joined in the day that will stand up in their living room, stand up in their dining room, stand up in their dining room, and just raise their hands to the air and raise them like you touch them. And say, Lord, I thank you for all that you've done for me. I want to end up for you all my side. I don't know where I would be. The devil tries to stop me and grab me. But you can't belong, Father, and you can't know. That's my child. And because of that, Father, you deserve all the glory. You deserve all the praise. And that's why here at the we worship you. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. And we say thank you. Thank you. Oh, right now, God. To this moment in time that has been designated in this church. Yes. To corporately worship you. Yes, God. And even though we don't have the men receiving the building, I believe they're watching right now yes, with their hands raised high, yes. saying, Father, I thank you. Yes. Father, I bless you. Lord, I love you. Some may have tears in their eyes, saying tears of joy, saying, Lord, you give all the glory and you get all the praise. Some may have a smile on their face. Some may just be walking to and fro in their home right now, praising and worshiping. And I'll take five minutes to give you some time to just praise to just worship it. To just give us some black praise in your house right now. When you start thinking about the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for you, the soul cries out, hallelujah. Even though you've been going through and not through going, some of you under the sound of my voice know if it had not been for the Lord on your side, you would have lost your mind. Oh, but God, do I have any but God praises today? But God. I was down, but God lifted me up. I was broke, but God came to me down. I didn't know what I was going to do, but God came and rescued me. I was losing my mind, but he came and touched my mind. I had pains in my body, but God is the healer. I wish I had just a few witnesses out there today. They will high-five that, that, that phone, high-five that, that tablet. Whatever it is that you're looking at the Lord and they say and just say, Lord, you deserve all the praise. You get all the glory. And I worship you. I thank you because you are my father. And when my heart gets heavy, when my heart gets heavy, I have to get all by myself. And I have to go into my secret closet and, and, and suck with you and you suck with me, Lord. And, and I tell you all about my problems and you begin to wipe tears from my eyes because I start thinking about your goodness and how you brought me from a mighty long way. Now, anybody that can say he brought me from a mighty long way, he keeps me when I couldn't keep myself and even though I don't have everything, Lord, I have everything. I, I'll say it again. Even though I don't have everything, I have everything. Because you get all the glory and you get all the praise, Lord. And I just want to say thank you. Victory Word just wants to thank you. There's some with heavy hearts today. There's some with tears in their eyes today. There's some with pain in their body today. And I'm here to tell you, you can make it. You can make it. You can make it. Don't give up.
morning. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Most gracious Father, we come before you in this, this moment in time here to say thank you. Thank you. Father, because you woke us up this morning. Now let's see the sun and the heat on our face. And Lord, when we put our foot on the floor, we were able to put the other foot on the floor and stand. And as we stood up in our bed, you stood up in our spirit. And God, we say thank you, Mr. For not just your, not just your visitation, but Father, we thank you for your inhabitation of not only us, but all of our sisters and brothers in the body of Christ. That we all were able to stand today and give you the honor and give you the praise. And so, Father, we ask you, and we know it is already done to bless this day, bless this moment, bless this hour, that we take corporately together to come before your presence with sin and to your courts with grace. And so, God, I ask that you anoint me today to give a ring of word to your people that it may not only give them information, but it will bring transformation and revelation in their spirit today. And so, God, I ask you right now to do what you've always done here at the Victory Word Church, and that is fall fresh in this house. That is my prayer this morning, and it is so. And it is so. And it is so. In Jesus' name. Amen. He's worthy. He's worthy. He deserves all the honor and praise. I can't thank him enough that you were. Yes. Can't thank him enough. We're going to Romans, the book of Romans, uh, the sixth chapter, starting at the 15th verse. Reading from the NIV, the New International Version. It says, what then shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? By no means, don't you know that when you offer yourselves for someone, when you offer yourselves to someone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one you obey. Whether you are slaves to sin, which leads, which leads to death, or to Obedience, which leads to righteousness. But thanks be to God that though you used to be slaves to sin, you have come to obey from your heart the pattern of teaching that has now claimed your allegiance. You have been set free from sin and have become slaves to righteousness. I am using an example from everyday life because of your human limitations. Just as you used to offer yourselves as slaves to impurity and to ever increasing wickedness, so now offer yourselves as slaves to righteousness, leading to holiness. When you were slaves to sin, you were free from the control of righteousness. What benefit did you reap at that time from the things you are now ashamed of? Those things result in death. But now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, the benefit you reap leads to holiness, and the result is eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. I want to preach for a few moments, if you don't mind, for the sermon topic. I'm still a slave. I'm still, I'm still a slave. I'm still a slave. Um, this weekend, uh, America celebrates uh, the Fourth of July, Independence Day, and I realized that you can be independent and still not be free. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, America, America celebrates Independence Day. We more than likely celebrate. 
of the Patriots. We call it Patriots Day for those that died during that time frame because there were a lot of people that looked like you and I that were, were in the military and trying to help during that time. Even though America got its freedom, we didn't receive ours. So understanding that it was independence for them, Patriot Day for us, uh, and I'll go further to say spiritually, that's why I'm preaching from the sermon topic today. It's all right, sisters and brothers, because I'm still a slave. I'm a slave. I'm a slave. Not in the sense of in bondage, because now I'm a slave unto God, as the scripture says. But now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, the benefit you reap leads to holiness. And the result is eternal life. I need to be connected to God in a slave type manner because if I don't, some of the things that go on around me will make me lose my mind and hurt someone. So I have to be like Paul and be a. Uh, uh, to, he said, I'm, I'm a slave unto Christ. I, I'm a servant to Christ. He, he uses those terminologies to say that I have to be connected to him in such a way that I do not allow my own intellect, my own thinking, my own experience change me and make me start hating people that hated me. All right. Amen. 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 So in the text, he says, what then shall we sin? What, what then shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? No, we don't sin because we're not under the law. We're under grace, and we not and we that are in the body are not subject to the law in the sense because God is in us, lives in us, Christ has risen in us, and so now we don't have to worry about the law. But it says, shall we sin because we are not under the law? We sin when we are not under the law because based on our independence. Some of us are so independent, we don't even know how to be a slave. Unto the Lord. All right, all right. What are you saying, Pastor? Some of us still want to do it our way, have it our way, do it when we want to, serve when we want to, pray when we want to. But when you're a slave unto God, when He wakes you up at the midnight hour, you don't roll over, you get up and start praying. Yeah, all right, amen, amen. amen. God, when God touches and nudges some of us, and we just think it's gas, we just think we're hungry, we just think it's this or that or the other. And God is trying to get your attention and say, Wake up! It's time to have a little talk with me. Yes. And if you are a slave unto him, you say, yes, master. Yes. Yes. Has anyone ever said yes to the master? Right. Is there anyone right. in this room and watching me on Facebook Live and social and the social platforms, can you say I'm a slave unto God? Yes, right. yes I'm a slave. I've denied myself, my, I've denied my own fleshly freedom to be spiritually a slave to a true and living God. All right. All right. So don't you know that when you offer yourselves to someone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one you obey. All right. That's the that's the book. That's what the word says. So we know who you obey, you who you obey based on your actions. Come on, come on. All right. So there's a lot of church going people, but there's not a lot of kingdom minded citizens. All right, all right. Because just because you walk through the door and you give an offering and you say, Lord, I love you. But then when it's time to manifest that love in your everyday life, you have a problem because you're so independent that you don't understand that I'm a slave to my master. All right. Amen. And so Amen. since I'm a slave to my master, I don't have my own thoughts because I'm trying to get my thoughts to align with my master's thoughts. Right. Amen. And as long as I become in, in, in tune to the master's thoughts, after a while of being enslaved to him, then he turns around and says, you know what? You're not a slave to me. Now you're just my son. Right, amen, amen, amen. And I tell him, yes, Father, I am your son, but I am still going to do that which you command me to do. All right, amen. And amen. that which he commands me to do is to be what? To be spiritually minded. Because to be carnally minded, the scripture tells me, is death. But right. to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Yes, See, yes. I don't just want to live, but I want to have peace while yes, I'm living. Right, and amen, as long as I'm amen. a slave to my master, then I'm able to have peace. We're about in the midst of confusion. I wish I had two yeah, people with that. That should understand that even though I'm going through, I'm not through going because this is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. I'm not going to let anything around me stop me from rejoicing in my God because he deserves all the glory and all of the praise. Why? Because when I look back over my old wretched life 
and all the things that he could have punished me for, he turned around and said, you know what? Yes, you're going to get punished, but I'm not going to give you the full degree of the punishment because I want you to learn from your situation. Some of you need to learn from your situation so you will stop making the same mistakes over and over and over again and then trying to make someone else pay the cost. Amen. Some of the saints are just tired of paying other people's costs. Amen. Amen. Yes, God. You continue to get yourself in a bad predicament and want someone else to get you out. Amen. Amen. But because I'm a slave to God, I start looking at your situation and your circumstance and I start hearing, Thus said the Lord. Amen. I am using an example from everyday life because of your human limitations. God is using this slave, this slave uh, uh, picture or parable because of our limitations. All right. We couldn't even understand. We don't even understand the width or the depth of who God is. Because if we did, we wouldn't do some of the things that we do. Not even physically, not even physically, but mentally. The Bible says that God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him how? In spirit and in truth. You cannot understand the truth until you truly understand his spirit. All right. All right. All right. So if you can't stop your own little personal things that you do, how can you say you understand God when you don't even understand how God's spirit works in you? Mm -hmm. So today, I thank God that I'm a slave. Oh, right. Right. I thank God I'm a slave because this slave master don't beat me. He feeds me. Yeah. All right. All right. This on. slave on. master right. doesn't, doesn't, doesn't expose me. He covers me. This yeah. slave yeah. master yeah. protects me not only from you, but he protects me from myself. This slave master loved me enough that he sent his son to die that I might have a right back to the tree of life Amen. that he may reconcile me from to me and God. So I thank you for the bridge that he brought me over that I can have the spirit of a true and living God. The yes. one that woke me up in the morning. The one that allows me to love you when you hate me. The one that allows me to pray for you when you can't stand me. The one who allows me to do all the things that he allows me to do. Because why? I'm a slave to him. I'm like Paul. I'm a slave until my master. Yes, yes. I'm a slave to him. Why? Because he looked beyond my thoughts and saw my knees. Yes, I'm a slave unto him because those that want to talk against me to use the platform that they lie on, that's okay because God specializes and he has all power in his hand. In his hand. Amen. So don't get weary in well-doing because there's a harvest for you if you faint not. Yes, sir. You got to keep on going when you don't want to keep going. Yeah. And you got to understand I'm going because I'm a slave to the master. Yeah. And when the master calls, I got to go. I got to yeah. go. I got to go. When he tells me to shut up, shut up, shut up, I got to shut up. I can't say it. Even if I want to say it, even if it makes me feel good saying it, even if it's the truth. But he tells me to close my mouth, I have to close my mouth. Why? Because I'm following, the, I'm, right. I'm following my master. Yeah. And I'm trying to be more like my master. So one day, one day, one day, when the master calls, he'll say, son, well done. Yeah. I just want yes, to be yes. a well done, well done, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. In this season of so much un unraveling, un unrest, yes, yes. so much things that are, so many things are unraveling around us, we don't have any control over it. We got to be thankful mm -hmm. for who he is yes. and what he's done. Yes, right here on the seven mile road, East Seven Mile, one one. 249, yes. several churches around us are not ever opening again. Mm, my God. Closing their doors. Yes, God. I pray for them. My spirit goes out for them. Yes, yes, yes. But I'm thankful yes, God. for what he's doing here at Victory Word. Yes, yes. That yes. He's, 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 he's keeping us. Yes, yes. He's, he's, he's sustaining us. Yes. He's holding us. Yes. He's prospering us. Yes, He's doing all of those things in the middle of a drought. Yes. In the middle of yes. uncertainty.
uncertainty, yes. in the middle of an unstable economy, in the middle of 43 million Americans without work, and all of us still going to work. All right. Amen. 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 You deserve the glory. Yes. Yes. You deserve the praise. Yes. God. I worship you. Yes. Glory. Oh. Hallelujah. Yes, glory. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh. Glory. Oh. Hallelujah. Thank you for keeping me from all danger, both seen and unseen. For if it had not been for the Lord on my side, victory words, we ought to say, thank you, Lord. I'm a slave to the master. I'm thankful. Thankful. Declaring and decreeing today that you shall overcome. Yes, Do you believe it? Can you see it? Can you see it when you don't see it? Yes, You got to be able to see it when you don't see it. Yes. You got to be able to see it when you don't feel it. But thanks be to God that though you used to be slaves to sin, yes. you have come to obey from your heart the pattern of teaching that has now claimed your allegiance. Amen. In other words, the old saints said, the places I used to go, uh -huh. I don't go no more. Uh -huh. The things I used to do, I don't do no more. The way I used to think, I don't think no more because I'm a slave to the master. Uh -huh. You have been set free from sin and have become slaves to righteousness. All right, amen. Did not say being a slave to being right. Said righteousness. There's a lot of people that's going to be right all by themselves. Yeah. There's a lot of people right in their own minds. Yeah. Yeah. But the scripture says slaves to righteousness. Yeah. When you were slaves to sin, you were free from the control of righteousness. So when you were free, when you were a slave to sin, you wasn't even thinking about righteousness. Mm -hmm. When you was a, when we were slaves to sin, that's when we were in our own independence. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. So I'm thanking God Thank you, Lord. that I'm not in my own independence. Yes, Lord. Because what benefit did you reap at that time mm -hmm. from the things you are now ashamed of? When you start thinking about all that Amen. foolishness you used to do, all those things you thank God that he brought you through it, yes, but every mountain that he carried yes, you over, yes. every valley that he brought you through, yes, those things resulted in death. But now that you have been set free from sin yes. and have become slaves of God, the benefit you reap leads to holiness. I'm glad right. I got a few Amen. holy people Amen. in here today. Amen. I got a few holy people watching me right now. Didn't say they was perfect, but it did say they were holy. In yes, other words, yes. they will take the time out to pray for somebody else. All they right. will give of themselves. They will have service in their spirit. Yes. They will have love in their heart. Yes. They said it was perfect, but they reap they the benefit you reap leads to holiness. Right. And the result is what? Eternal life. Yes. All right. Because the wages of sin is death. Right. But I got a but God. Yes, thank you, Lord. Got a but God, yes. Thank you, Lord. But the gift of God. The gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Yes, yes. Give God a hand praise this morning. We just thank him and we praise him. We just thank him and praise him yes, for what God. he has done. Yes. What he's doing right now. And what he's going to do. Yes, God. Thank you. And I'm still excited. Yes. And I stay excited knowing that the best is yet to come. Yeah. Yes, we're in this season right now. Don't get weary and well doing. And my sisters and brothers. I don't try to talk about this virus much because the more you talk about it, the more you, you think about it. But I just don't want you to panic and think. Don't watch all the news. Yes, it's getting worse, but it doesn't have to be worse for you. 
if you do what has been said to be done, it doesn't take God to tell you. The news is telling you. The, 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 the powers that be are saying social distance, wear masks when you need to wear masks, wash your hands you said, if we just do those things Jesus made it real simple he said love thy neighbor as thyself love the Lord thy God with your heart, soul, mind and strength if we do those things we'll do the correct thing in our distancing even when we're shopping, when we're at work, we'll, it, we can be around it. He said you can be in the midst of it and it won't draw nigh to you. All right, that's right. right. So use wisdom. Use knowledge. Above all, make sure you have the understanding. For this too shall pass. The pandemic came to pass. It's going through a passing season. In the body of Christ, we need to stand up and rise and know that it is He that has made us and not we ourselves. Thank you, Lord. I love you. We love you. We love our family. Those that are watching my social media today, we thank God. We pray that He's coming to your home. I believe you received the word today. We will carry you a little far. But before we go, there might be one that would like to give their life to Christ. They may want to give back to Christ what Christ gave me. And so, Father, and those that are watching, join right now, take my hand. If you'd like to give your life to Christ, take my hand right now. And just repeat after me this, this simple prayer. Lord, I'm a sinner. But I want you to come into my life. I give my life away to you. I accept the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior. Father, I ask to be, be brought back into the spiritual family. If you prayed that prayer, you just came back. It was that simple. You just gave your hand, not to me, you gave your hand maybe to me virtually, but you gave your heart to Christ. And for that, we say thank you. If there's one that would like to be a part of the Victory Word Church, here at the Victory Word Church, we don't beat you up. We pick you up. We watch God lift you up. And so if you'd like to be a part of our, our congregation, we ask you to just call the church office. 313-243-4512. We'll answer and we'll take your information and you can be a part of the Ricky Word family. Well, I look forward to seeing you this Wednesday night. Please tune in this Wednesday night. Victory Word of those watching, this is our last Bible study of the summer. We will pick back up right after Labor Day in September. Amen. I look forward to seeing you be in Bible study part three, Kingdom Economics. This will be the last part, and then we'll break for the summer. I love you. I love you. I love you. Well, Let's go, bitchy water. Let's go. Let's go.